Hello, hello, I am Jessica Butts. Welcome to the Front Seat Life Podcast, where I help you learn to be unapologetically who you are and live your life from the front seat through personal development, self-awareness, and real and raw conversations about life, love, and business. I'm a former psychotherapist and couples counselor turned author, speaker, coach, and lovingly, well, I hope so anyway, been nicknamed Jessica Kickbutts because I believe sometimes we need hand-holding and sometimes we just need to be told the freaking truth, even if it hurts a little. So each week I'll be sharing truth bombs, life lessons, powerful interviews, and intuitive insights to empower you to get up, show up, and live your life in a new, powerful, authentic way. So if you're ready to climb into your front seat and embark on a journey of total transformation, you have come to the right place. Start your engines. Let's do this. Hello, Front Seat Lifers. It is Jessica, your host, coming to you during this just new normal that we're in. And I am with you in the roller coaster of emotions, the somewhat, you know, fear of the economy, the fear of, of people that I love getting sick. And during this time, I am quite honestly, more committed than ever to bringing you content that is helpful. In full transparency, I'm actually kind of on fire right now with content. I am stuck in my house and it seems to be a time of great inspiration for me. And so I'm actually just going gangbusters with content right now. And it feels really good to be able to to be of service and help in a way that I know that I can right now, which is through helping people understand themselves in this time of crisis through understanding personality type and human behavior, which I'm an expert in, and how that then also translates to our relationships in normal times, but also now this time of crisis. So as you guys know, I am obviously the creator of Front Seat Life, which is this new approach to Myers-Briggs, which also is about our reptilian brain, my whole backseat methodology. That is my intellectual property. And as I created that, it's about us understanding basically exactly what we're going through right now, which is times of stress. And so I I feel very uh, much called to be of service right now. So I'm going balls to the wall on my personal Facebook page right now to give a ton of content, just a ton of content. I am talking about each of the dichotomies and how they show up in your backseat for an entire week. And then I'm going to be talking about how we as human beings, either as single people or just as individuals, how we can also manage this time of crisis by understanding our personality type. And of course, that backseat reptilian brain response that is happening to every single one of us. And again, these are coming in waves. I mean, I have times in my day where I'm like, I'm actually on fire. I'm more creative. I feel like I have more purpose than I've ever had ever ever before. And then there's times where, you know, I feel it too. I feel as an empath and as a, a very strong feeler, I, I'm feeling it with everybody else. With all of that being said, the content that I'm going to bring you over the next many weeks of the podcast are these Facebook lives. And I want to be transparent about why I'm doing that. And it's twofold. One is I am on fire and this content is really, really resonating. I mean, I I get done with a live and there's 194 comments like in an hour. I mean, people are just going crazy with this content. And I was like, I don't want my podcast listeners to not 
also have the energy that's coming from those Facebook lives. So in full transparency, two things are happening. One, I want you to have that energy and have you feel that live energy. And two, this is the transparent part. I am also just like everybody else trying to conserve my energy. Uh, I noticed Amy Porterfield's doing it right now. My personal coach um, in her mastermind is Kate Northup, and her, she is known for doing less. And I'm I'm just in full transparency taking a play from her playbook of if I'm pumping out this super new, it's brand new content because it's just coming to me as I'm in this creative mode. It's really great energy. It's super relevant content. It's a thousand percent relevant content to what we're doing right now. And I'm asking for a little grace about also conserving my energy um, because I'm in this with all of you. I'm on the roller coaster. I've got the mornings of like massive amounts of awesome energy. I'm still sticking to my structure and my schedule. You know, more on that as as bonus episodes come up. But I'm also I'm also conserving my energy in the afternoons because that's when I'm kind of going through my crash and everybody's feeling it a little bit differently. So you're going to love these, but again, they are Facebook Live. So you're going to hear me, you know, say hi to people and maybe comment a, a little bit because it's about engagement there. And then also, I'm also accepting a bunch of new friend requests. I'm just going to be really transparent about that. If you want to start watching these lives, so this episode is going to be going live on Fridays. Um, if I'm still doing those lives, like go ahead and pop over there and I'll be accepting re- requests there. I'm also posting a t- ton of content over on my Instagram page, which is Front Seat Life. So I'm, I thank you. I guess I'm just asking for some grace. I'm just being fully transparent with you. You know, that is one of my core values. Like I'm never going to pull a fast one on you. I'm just, I'm asking for grace through this time, like everybody else is going through. So I hope you enjoy the episode and know that there are basically nine more of them coming. So I'm going to try to shove them in and do some bonus episodes and give you this content like as quickly as possible because I know that we're all in it. Uh, So you're likely going to see some bonus episodes as well as my regular uh, Front Seat Live Fridays. So take care, take care, take care, take care, everybody. Take care of yourself, number one. And then take care of those that are very, very important to you and start by, again, understanding how you're reacting to this time of stress and then lovingly accepting and understanding how the people around you are. All right. Enjoy. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, my friends. In a truly, truly unprecedented time in our world. And I think a lot of us are being called to serve in any way that we know how. And I don't try to be an expert in anything. I'm not going to meditate with you. I am not going to teach you uh, about what Mother Nature may be trying to teach us right now. But I am an expert in personality type and human behavior. As a former psychotherapist, uh, coach, Myers-Briggs expert, uh, I feel called to serve more than ever before uh, to help with relationships. So I... Uh, was a couples counselor for very high conflict couples and a therapist for many, many years. And I loved, loved that work. And I am being called energetically to be of service in this way again. And I'm going to do that by sharing as much content as I humanly possibly can during this time when we're all together and uh, sometimes we're alone. I will be, I will say that uh, as a single person for many, many years, I am also feeling for the single people. There's a lot of talk about families and there's also a lot of loneliness and isolation going on. So this is hopefully, truly for everybody, for families, couples, and uh, single people. And one of the main things that I want to do over the next couple of weeks and today is Instead of blame and finger pointing, you're wrong. What's wrong with you? Why are you acting that way? Why are you reacting that way? Uh, I, I'm not like that. What's wrong with you? Because that's what we do as human beings. To instead understand, have acceptance, and then gratitude for people who are different than us, 
that can help us through this. So I have a large agenda today and I am gonna jump straight in. So first things first, I would invite you to take a deep breath with me. And do that as many times as you need to throughout the day. I believe we are all being called right now. This is my belief, and you do definitely do not have to agree with me. We are all, as always, um, allowed to have our own opinions, but now more than ever, I believe we are being called to become closer to who God or the universe, whatever you believe in, designed you to be. As a former therapist and now coach, I have watched people for years and years and years get super busy, super overwhelmed, so involved with their kids' lives that they have lost connection to themselves and to their partners. I have watched couples that no longer know how to have conversations with each other because all they talk about are Johnny's softball games or baseball games or t-ball games or soccer games. And we have, in my opinion, lost the connection to ourselves and those that we love very, very much. I am feeling called to get more in tune with who I am as a human being as well. What am I learning about myself right now? What are you learning about yourself right now? And how can you transfer that to the relationships to the people that you love the very most? Some of your best friends, some of your your partner, your children, yourself. What are these lessons that we can get to a deeper place of personal understanding, acceptance, and gratitude now that we're not like this? You know, Elizabeth Gilbert talks about this in her amazing book, Big Magic, that we are like this a lot. Busy, busy. We're running around. We're getting up late. We're frenetic. We're running out the door. We're putting our mascara on in the car. We're so busy. And we are being called to slow down. And my belief is to become more of who God designed us to be. So that is what I will be doing here for the next couple of weeks if you're interested in that message as well. And if you're not, that is completely fine as well. It truly, truly is. I shook so much, one of my eyelashes just fell off. That's hilarious. (laughs) So how many of you know your personality type? For those of you watching live or the recording, can you just uh, post it below? What is your type? Who knows their type? Post it below. Uh, I will be giving you some uh, free, wonderful, helpful information for those of you who do post your type below. I have in my books, both of my books, as well as the quiz. It's totally free. Again, I'm giving you as much possible content for free. Lynn, INTJ, thank you. If you don't know, there is a quiz on my website that is completely free. It is jessicabutts.com forward slash quiz. Simple as can be. It's free. Uh, anybody over about the age of 11, 12, 13 can take it. It's pretty, it, not pretty accurate. It's very accurate. And at the bottom, at the end of the quiz, I give you the car, which is what I'm about to talk about, about how our reptilian brain responds during stress. There are other experts that can teach you more about brain science, one of those being Stacey uh, Danford. She is one of my clients. I love her dearly, um, and she is a neuroscientist who talks more about that. I am specifically going to be talking about our reptilian brain response around stress for ourselves and for those in our lives. This is awesome. Thank you, everybody, for sharing. So what I'm going to do for those that are sharing their type, I'm going to screenshot the car to you as a gift for participating so that you don't even, you know, have to go digging. But if you don't even know your type, the very first step is to go take that quiz. And again, it's totally free. So next question is, are you an introvert or are you an extrovert? And for those of you who still believe you're an ambivert, I'll try to find the 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 video that talks about that's not a thing. Uh, we have a preferred type. We are we either have a preference for introversion and extroversion, but our front seat is filled with an extrovert 
and an introvert. That's why there's a confusion around an ambivert because we are both. For, I'll just give a very quick example of that. So my front seat is extroverted feely. I give and I give and I give and I give and I love doing that. I'm all about building connection. However, the other part of my front seat, which is 80% of what makes all of us up, everybody watching right now, that is what makes up our whole front seat. It's not just that one person. And my quiz shows you this. It's free. It just shows you your entire car. That front seat makes up 80%. My other part of my front seat is introverted intuition. It's in my head. So my wonderful assistant and I, Stephanie, we joke about this all the time because she's an INFJ and I'm an ENFJ. While she loves to extrovert ideas, she loves to talk about ideas, I actually do almost all of that in my own head. That is why I'm still getting up at 5 a.m. because that is where God and the universe know how to find me. They find me in the morning so they know that I'm quiet. And so we've got to understand those two differences. We've learned over the last couple of years, I'm actually not much of a collaborator. I know that sounds really bizarre and kind of selfish, but I'm not a huge collaborator because I understand my personality type. So instead of judging myself or having her judge me or any judgment, really, there is just this understanding. Again, back to that question. What can you be learning about yourself right now? I ask myself that on a daily basis right now. What am I learning about myself during this crisis? So are you an introvert or are you an extrovert? Because down, if you post it again down below, I will giving, be giving you some helpful co um, content. I want to start with the basics today because I'm going to do this for two weeks. The basics, kind of the, I call it the, <laughs> the uh, BA, the Bachelor of Arts <laughs> level. And then we're going to be getting into graduate school level content as we go along. But the basics of all of this is introversion and extroversion. Our brains, <laughs> thank you, Marty Reader, again, for my brain here. Thank you, Darren. This is our uh, uh, model of our brain. This, my friends, is a prefrontal cortex. Before this crisis, a majority of us were likely in this place a lot more than we are now. Our prefrontal cortex is... <clears throat> uh, is reasoning. Animals don't reason. Thank you everybody so much for participating. Please keep it up. I love seeing this while I'm talking and I will be doing this later. Uh, I will be going through these and reading them and watching them and commenting back. So thank you. I promise I will be doing that. This prefrontal cortex is our front seat. This is rational reasoning. That thing we did just a minute ago, taking a deep breath, calming down. That is prefrontal cortex. And a lot of us right now are not in that place. We do not feel safe. We do not feel secure for obvious reasons. And another point of that is that everybody's kind of dealing with their own crisis right now, right? There are uh, people that are home with toddlers that are <clears throat> there in their own stress. There are entrepreneurs like myself who are financially freaked out. There are people in the service industry that are devastated financially. There are single people who are feeling massive isolation. Everyone is dealing with their own thing right now. So that a side caveat, let's all just have some compassion that not everybody is in the exact same situation that you are, nor is everybody like you. So again, that is the prefrontal cortex. About a month ago, many of us may have been in that place where we are our best selves. We are much more calm. We are able to come at the world by taking a deep breath. Right now, what's happening is our prefrontal cortex is literally going away. Our prefrontal cortex is coming off. We are not in that same place. It is coming away from who we are. There is not a ton of reasoning and rationale. There is fear and freaked outness. That is natural. 
So then what happens is our reptilian brain starts showing up. Look at that. That's what happens. It comes out. So imagine it being in the wild, because technically we are animals. This is what separates us from animals. This prefrontal cortex is what separates us from animals. The rest of the time, we're kind of right here. And when animals are up against the wall, they are overwhelmed, stressed out, fear response. They do two things. What do they do? You know what they do. They fight or they flee. Our brains are magnificent creatures. And through my research, I have realized our personality type has a direct reflection on how our reptilian brain responds. Extroverts do the exact opposite of who they normally are and they flee. Who's doing that? We run and hide and we don't want to be on social media. We don't want to talk to anybody. We don't want to do anything. That is a natural reptilian response. You don't have to stay there, but that is a natural state. So I am an extrovert and that is my natural response right now. I had a thought the other day that I just, all I wanted to do was get in an RV and drive away. So by the way, I think my partner and I are actually going to do that. We had to cancel our Greece trip this weekend. And in lieu of that, we may very well do this plan and just be out in nature. But we literally, we start having those thoughts. How many of you are having those thoughts? I just want to run away. I just want to get out of here. I want to get in an RV. I want to drive. I want to swim to Hawaii. I want to whatever. So emotionally, we do the same thing. Emotionally, we pull away. So watch this with your partner in particular. <clears throat> with your relationships, you're going to want to retreat. So your partner may co be coming at you, your friends, your children, anybody. It doesn't matter. And they may be saying, hey, Jessica, I want to cuddle and I want to talk and I want to do stuff and I want to, do you want to do these happy hours? And some of the extroverts normally, again, prefrontal or prefrontal cortex, prefrontal cortex, yeah, I want to do that. Yeah. Right now? No. No, I don't want to do that. No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I want to run away. I want to get away. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to kind of do anything. That is a natural response. So this is about, as I started this, this is not about blaming and finger pointing what's wrong with you. This is about understanding, acceptance, and then gratefulness for who we are and the people in our lives. So this Monday, I decided that we are 1000% opening registration for the new Live Unapologetically course on schedule starting April 7th. As a feeler, I struggled for days about if and how to proceed with launching this new course in light of how the spread of the coronavirus has drastically changed our lives. Ultimately, of course, I want to be sensitive and respectful of the challenging reality that we're all facing collectively with this crazy pandemic. Entrepreneurs like myself are walking a very tight rope of continuing to do what we love and keep the economy going in our small way. I can succumb to fears and worry, cut back my online presence and become overly concerned with people's opinions of my actions, basically staying stuck in my back seat. But no, 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 I refuse. That is not authentic to me and my spirit. Front seat Jessica plays aloud and proud and gives in big ways. I have a visceral need to serve and support you. You may have seen me doubling down my presence in the front seat squad, which I'm sorry, by the way, if you've not joined yet, get your booty in there. I'm live in there almost every single day right now. So after lots of reflection and intuitive checks, I have realized that I am obligated 
straight up obligated to deliver these critical lessons inside this course to all the struggling women, myself included, who need tools and reminders right now during this crazy unexpected crisis. I cannot hold this content hostage. It is my duty to open this course. I would be doing you a huge disservice if I canceled or postponed this course because it contains not only highly useful and relevant tools for the challenges we are facing, but also a huge community element with intimate live coaching. My hope is that you can let this course carry you through this crisis and inevitable future crises with tangible tools and a tribe of women who get you. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to pretend that big potential scary things are impacting all of us. It is, but I am still choosing to take intentional and purposeful steps forward with my front seat and in alignment with my core values of connection and to be of service. So my team and I have made adjustments to the course offer that I know, I know you're going to love and will allow more of you to join. So stay tuned in two weeks, two weeks, it's crazy, it's coming up for all of those details on the bonuses, which we seem to be adding every week. There are now six bonuses, prices and new specials, add-ons and freebies. You're going to want to grab a friend. So tell them now, grab a friend. And for now, in the next three weeks, I'm introducing a ton of the course content for free inside the Front Seat Squad through my daily lives, connections, and I'm even gonna be doing some Zoom stuff here. So my friends, now is not the time to back down. You and I can do hard things. Friends, take my hand and let's summon our strength together to deepen our understanding of ourselves and others, which I cannot imagine a more important time than now to do that. I got you. So this happened to me last week. I I am doing everything, and I will share this as the week goes on. I am doing everything that I can right now to be in my front seat because I am choosing right now to give because this is my front seat. So I am massively taking care of myself. I am massively setting boundaries so that I can continue to be in my front seat. And I will teach you that throughout the week, I promise, about what to do now. So today is about awareness of if you're an extrovert or an introvert, how you're showing up in that way. So then, so again, back to this this real quick story about my partner and I had a thing last week and my natural response was, I mean, I literally was like, okay, I got to get off the phone right now because I, but I just, I just went whoop, emotionally. And the way that you counteract that is through understanding. So in that moment, let me be very clear. In that moment, even as an expert in this and, and as a former therapist, like I've done, I get it. I still in that moment reacted that way because it is a rep reptilian response. Flip your prefrontal cortex. This comes flying out. Or whoop. And so in that whoop, I still did it. So I want to be very clear about this. It's not about judgment. This is not about perfection. This is about understanding it. So that's what I did. I pulled back and then I went, whoo, okay, wow. 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 I just like just freaked out all over my partner. So then I get to do repair work. Then I get to say, okay, baby, whoo, sorry, whoo, sorry. <laughs> My reptilian brain response just vomited all over you. I apologize, whoo. Uh, and then understanding, being able to use that language. There's no finger pointing, there's understanding. You guys get that. This could save your marriages, I swear, right now. And then in that moment, it's not me blaming him for not doing it the way I needed him to do it. It is me just saying, oh, wow, babe, whoo, I just whoo, all over you. And now let's repair this. And it was as simple as that. Let's now talk about how introverts react. (laughs) How many introverts do I have? Let's see it down below. Here I do a hand emoji, whatever, down below. Let's see some comments. Introvert here, because my friends... 
where extroverts flee, introverts, you guys lash out. You get, excuse my language, you get, I don't know if I want to use this word right now, you get B-I-T-C-H-Y. <laughs> you get, because I know some of you want to share this with your kiddos, so that's why I'm not doing my normal uh, cursing. I'm trying real hard. You guys get prickly. You might get loud. You get rah! And so in this example, my partner is an introvert. That's exactly what he did. He got prickly when I pulled away. So instead of, again, what's wrong with you and finger pointing and blaming and all the things, I was able to say, whoa, here's my part in this. And I see you doing the same thing. So let's do better next time. The lovingness that comes from acknowledging your own stuff versus attacking somebody. I mean, this was graduate school 101 for me. I mean, I feel like this was day number one we learned. When you come at somebody, what do they do, my friends? They put up a wall and they are defensive. Nothing productive is going to come from that. So when we can be unapologetically who we are, when we can live unapologetically, when we can come in fully understanding all of our bits, my good bits and my bad bits, and we all got bad bits, friends, hashtag bad bits. You all have bad parts, all bad bits. We all have bad bits. That is a fact. Understanding our bad bits which I'd show you in the quiz, jessicabutts.com forward slash quiz. When we understand these bits, we can own them. I, I'm literally wearing the shirt. Live unapologetically. When we can know this about ourselves, it, it, I'm just Trina saying it right now, and so freeing. It's so freeing when you're aware of it. You can come in to relationships with yourself. You can come into relationships with your children, your partner, your friends, your mom, anybody right now with a whole new awareness that will save relationships. Again, as a therapist, I would sit with the most high conflict couples. There was infidelity. There was addiction. That's what I specialized back then. And at the core, when you can break down all of that defensiveness and all of that anger, it comes down to owning our own stuff so that we can be in deeper relationships. There's a saying from years and years ago that it is not a 50-50 in a relationship. It is 100 and 100. Meaning all of you watching right now, anybody who's going to be sharing this with their partner, or their friends, or their moms, or anybody. This is showing up as a hundred. This is showing up as a hundred, even in this crisis. Actually, I, that's not even the right words. It's not even, it's especially in this crisis. Because we are now closer knit than ever before. And as a former single person for many years, let me say... That may be closer knit with your partner and with your kids or by yourself. All of us are being asked to go inward. We are being asked to recreate a relationship with our love. We are being asked to recreate a relationship with ourselves. And it takes a deep learning of our good bits and our bad bits, our front seat life and our backseat life, and then learning how to communicate this with the people in our lives. So down below in the, or up, I guess, there's five steps I've given you. Where do you want to be on the other side of this? It's a very powerful question that's coming up for me right now. Where do you want to be on the other side of this? Because we will be. Do you want to deepen the love in your relationship? Do you want to have a deeper, more authentic relationship with your children? 
Do you want to come out of this the best version of yourself that you could possibly imagine? If the answer is yes, please show me down below. Yes. This is an opportunity. Again, everybody's got an opinion right now. This is mine and you don't have to like it or even want to hear it. But this is an opportunity. This is an opportunity to figure yourself out more than you've ever done before. Doris is saying yes. Leslie is saying yes. This is an opportunity to come out of this in the best relationship you've ever been in, to be the best version of yourself you've ever been, to have more clarity in your business than you've ever had before, to be, Jeanette is saying yes, to be the best version of yourself. And you know what that takes? It takes some work. It takes some work. It is not given freely because then everybody would have it. It takes work. It takes some effort. And this is when I get a little butt kicky. Is, am I watching Netflix right now and napping a lot? Yep. <laughs> but you know what else I'm doing? Is I'm sticking to my schedule. I am getting up at the same time. I am eating as well as I possibly can. I am resting. I am setting boundaries. I am reading awesome books. I am educating myself. I am doing the best that I can. And I would love for all, yes, folk, this is a time for self-reflection. This is a time to be inspiring to yourself and your children. There's a lot of people who are going to waste this time. And then there's the people, as Jeff Olson calls it, 5%. I am nicer than that. I think it's about 20%. Who wants to be in the 20% of really taking charge of their life right now? Seeing this as a gift, seeing this as an opportunity to understand yourself deeper than ever before. I'm in. I'm in. I'm making the pledge. I'm taking the pledge. I'm doing the thing. So in closing, <clears throat> I want to offer a couple of helpful things. One, I'm doing this every single day at 8 a.m. for two weeks. That one, that's how I'm staying in my front seat. If I'm being honest, I journaled this morning and I wrote, if I was not gifted this opportunity right now, opportunity meaning a pandemic, if I was not gifted this opportunity, I would absolutely be in my back seat. I would be eating too much, Netflixing like crazy, not reaching out, but I am choosing to understand that my front seat has to do this. And everyone's is different. Yours may not be this. What is yours? That's why you got to go take the quiz and understand it. But I'm going to be here for two weeks. So the steps above, if you don't know yours, go take the quiz. It's free. Number two, uh, I'm going to deepen this learning in the squad by doing a happy hour Q&A, which I do every single month, but this month will be probably more epic than ever. I will definitely be drinking wine. <laughs> it is in the evening next Tuesday. Go get yourself in there. All of this stuff is above. Share this if you feel called to do it. I'm not, you know, I just want everybody to do what feels right for them right now. I don't know about you, but I am in to making this Something that is happening for me, not to me. How is this happening for you, for your relationships, for yourself? This is a time to learn about ourselves and our loved ones. How are you showing up as your baby in the backseat? How is your reptilian brain showing up naturally? So that you can sit down with yourself, your partner, your entire family, and start having this conversation. Again, you can waste this time, and then you're going to be on the other side of this and be like, wow, that sucks. I just wasted this time, and now we're all back, and it's gone. Or you can be the leader of your family or the leader of your own life. Be the matriarch. Be the patriarch and show up. Show up for yourself. And it might look different than it normally looks. And that's okay. 
because I think more than ever before, that is a gift. It is a lesson. It is happening for us, not to us. In closing, I will be back here tomorrow at the exact same time. If not now, when? That is a question that haunted me until I changed my life. When I left my marriage, I quit my corporate job. I went back to graduate school. I had zero money. Zero. And I... I asked myself that question a lot because someone posed it to me. If not now, when? This this is the time, my friends. This is the time. I love you all. Thank you for being here. Uh, if you feel called to share this, please do so. It's why I'm doing it on my public page for the next two weeks at 8 a.m. Pacific time. So that if people need to hear this, they can. I typically am only in my squad, but I, I feel like this message needs to be heard more than ever before. And I am committed uh, to being here uh, every day for the next two weeks. So thank you for listening. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Go be good to everybody. Let's do uh, understanding, acceptance, and gratitude instead of blame and finger pointing. You are very welcome, Jeanette. Thank you so much, Doris. Thank you, everybody, for being here live. Um, I'm sure there will be many, many more of you on the replay. And I will be, you know, laying in bed later um, with everything shut off and responding to you guys because it brings me joy. And it is my front seat uh, to be able to connect with you even uh, virtually. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye. All right, everybody, here is today's type tip. This is one of my favorites. This is about sensors and intuitives and how they live in the world, basically. So sensors are people who live in the moment. And as 75% of the population, almost everybody thinks, well, doesn't everybody live in the moment? And the answer is no, because if you're an intuitive, you know already that you live in the future. You are a future thinker. As you're listening to this podcast right now, you might be thinking about where am I going to be going on vacation next? What am I having for lunch later? I got to have this conversation with my partner later. Whatever. <laughs> what am I going to do in five minutes from now? It is very hard for intuitives to live in the moment. And it is very hard for sensors to think about the future. They are people that, again, are great at living in the moment. And intuitives are always thinking about what's next. They are future thinkers. From the bottom of my heart, truly, thank you so much for listening. I know that you have a ton of options and the fact that you are taking time to listen to the Front Seat Life podcast means absolutely everything to me. If you're interested in learning more about the Front Seat Life way of life in the community, there's a couple ways that you can do that. First is always starting with your personality assessment tool. It's available on my website at jessicabutts.com. It's totally free and it will help you figure out your personality type so you'll have some idea of what we're talking about. Next is if you're interested in hiring me for a keynote or some coaching or or strategy days, or the fabulous and amazing Front Seat Life community. You can find out all about all of that at jessicabutts.com. Thank you so much for listening, and I'll see you next time. <music>